Sport Rider. 51, got out to 81, back into 34. So, Jack a tear to Drifter, out to $1.35. Mobile picks up speed. Seven weeks between runs, and as mentioned, has changed stables, changed ownership in that seven-week time, and lives an hour up the road from where he used to. Now at Narra Court. Mark Billinger's got the drive for Greg Schofield. He's got gate speed Jack and Ted. So is Jake Sport Rider and Giant Jackson's probably just as quick as all of them, but the favourite should be able to kick through and hold the lead. Away. Giant Jackson can't clear them. The favourite kicks through Jack and Ted does it comfortably. Untie the hood didn't have any speed at all to keep its back, and slotting on the leader's back was Jake Sport Rider. On the outside, facing the breeze was Giant Jackson. What a bros caught wide. Paying interest kicks through from the second row to keep it out three wide. Untie the hood three back the inside. Then don't tell Alice who angles off after going down to the inside early. Back behind those were Smackwater Jack and Glen Ray Hanover just in front of it. Waterbro's having a pretty tough run. He's three wide trying to get to the breeze. Lead time 12.3 and Jack and Ted's in front. Waterbro goes to the breeze but he's done work to get there. Jake Sport Rider on the inside follows the leader. One out one back was Giant Jackson. Speed looks good it is. 28.2 for the first quarter. Pay me interest behind those races on the outside of Untie the Hood who's struggling to hold his position. Then don't tell Alice and the other two aren't making any ground at all. They're still eight metres away. Uh, Glen Ray Hanover on the outside of Smackwater Jack. 28-2 the first quarter. He's doing it under his own steam, the favourite Jack of Ted. Uh, Bill and Jack to look down to the semaphore board to see what the first quarter was. Then he put the brakes on. So he's out in front, Jack and Ted, by four metres. Now three only as Waterbro moves closer. On the inside, following the leader was Jake Sport Rider. One out, one back was Pay Me Interest. Dropping down to the inside was Giant Jackson. Second quarter, 29-8. 58 for the first half. And the Billingers have got clear. They're out in front. Mark on the inside with the favourite. Now being tickled up, Jack and Ted. Waterbro on the outside's had a tough run, but he's sticking with him. He's only two metres away at the 410. Behind those, Pay Me Interest under pressure third placing then don't tell Alice uh, behind those making some ground Smackwater Jack is a rough place chance it's running on 29-3 for the third quarter he's getting desperate on Jack and Ted so Jack and Ted on the inside being worked on what a bros had a tougher run but he's got the favorite covered I think he poked his nose in front Jack and Ted has to kick back what a bro running on Smackwater Jack and don't tell Alice are coming at tired horses here's the finish line Smackwater Jack down the outside gets up Smackwater Jack first, second, I think Don't Tell Alice just in front of Jack at 10 and Waterbro got a little tired at the last minute, I think he's finished fourth. Behind those, not far away, uh, we had a pay me interest, a long gap to the others Glen Ray Hanover getting tired was untie the hood back there with Jake Sportrider and also Giant